When I was originally planning this video, I didn't even know what to call it. My script for this video is actually called Bizarre Quantum Effects. And that's because it's essentially a collection of recent papers from the last few months describing absolutely mind-blowing effects related to quantum physics that essentially highlight how absolutely uncomprehensible the universe actually is. And although in the human world we're used to solid objects, things that sort of behave classically and move in a certain way, like this beautiful chirumov gerasimenko comet, underneath all of this there is quite a lot of quantum stuff going on that actually does affect us physically without us realizing or feeling it in any way. But the main reason we're talking about this today is because of this recent announcement and a recent study that essentially confirms a phenomenon that was kind of speculated about for several years. A phenomenon referred to as the quantum superchemistry. And so, how wonderful person, this is Anton, and in this video we're going to discuss some of the major discoveries, but obviously not all of them, when it comes to quantum physics and quantum effects affecting real world around us. Or potential discoveries like this one right here that can actually change our understanding of how things work. And let's actually start with this study first. Many body chemical reactions in a quantum degenerate gas. With the idea being really simple. Trying to figure out if chemistry or chemical effects can be improved in some way by using quantum physics. Now this idea of quantum chemistry is far from being new. It's something that's pretty well understood and something that's been studied for a very very long time. But what's different about this particular study is that it actually physically tries to test if certain atoms supercooled to produce a quantum state could then also participate in chemistry as a single object. Or in other words, if we were to create what's known as the Bose-Einstein condensate, a pretty well understood concept which usually occurs when you have a bunch of atoms or a bunch of particles cooled down to behave as a collective quantum state, could then be turned into more complex molecules by interacting with similar quantum states of potentially other or maybe even similar atoms. And based on this particular study, the result seems to be yes. In this case, by taking atoms of cesium and making them ultra cold, they created a Bose-Einstein condensate that behaved as a single object. And one of the first observations here was actually a major decrease in particle collision, suggesting that each of the particles now behaved as a wave. So basically atoms here were no longer colliding. But even though the atoms were not bumping into each other, they were still forming new molecules, cesium molecules, and surprisingly were doing so extremely fast. But in order to start a chemical reaction, they essentially introduced magnetic field that would then force some of these atoms into molecules. Although all of this was happening much much faster than in a classical reaction. Essentially implying that in quantum world, even chemistry obeys different rules. And so even though the particles were not colliding, which is what's expected from a chemical reaction, they were forming new molecules extremely fast. Which is now a direct confirmation of what's known as superchemistry. More specifically, quantum superchemistry. Something that was only proposed a few years ago, but something that's now been definitively proven. But obviously the next step here would be using much larger molecules in order to take this even further. Because this is the first such discovery, it's still unclear where all of this goes just yet. But even though this quantum reality might sound kind of far-fetched and potentially not really important, it's really the only reason we even exist. Because even on the fundamental level, for example things like the sun are able to produce energy only because of quantum effects. So for example hydrogen fusion that happens inside the sun is actually a quantum process and not really a classical process that we usually assume. And that's because most textbooks don't really explain what's happening here. The explanation usually involves two atoms of hydrogen turning into helium and converting some of the mass into pure energy. But the reality is that these atoms are super tiny and even though they move really fast and there are something like 10 to the power of 56 protons inside the sun's core, pretty much none of them have enough energy to suddenly fuse into helium. Or at least if you consider each of these atoms as a kind of a sphere or a kind of a particle moving at fast speeds colliding with one another. So technically, sun should not even shine. Yet we know it does and we know exactly how much energy it produces. And that's because ultimately, each of those hydrogen atoms can also be described as a wave. And once you take the wave function into consideration, it all suddenly starts to make sense. And so instead of a particle, we have these tiny waves once in a while touching tips. Or essentially sort of going through one another. And occasionally they merge, creating helium. 
The process itself is not very efficient and only happens sometimes, but this is the only way to explain how the sun is able to generate energy. It's a purely quantum process, and it's the process that drives the entire universe. But this is of course just one of many examples. And intriguingly, in 4.5 billion years of its existence, the sun lost approximately a Saturn worth of mass through these unusual quantum effects. All of this naturally converted to pure energy. But there are some other quantum effects out there that have even more direct influence on everything around us, including ourselves. Here's the famous phenomenon known as quantum tunneling. This is of course a really old idea, it's nearly one century old by now, but it's been experimentally proven many times. Because of the particle wave duality, when a certain particle hits a wall, some of the waves can actually tunnel through the wall and end up on the other side. But as strange as it sounds, it's one of the most unusual phenomena that's used in modern science to look at ridiculously small objects. There's a really cool microscope known as the scanning tunneling microscope that I've personally used myself to literally move atoms around. I actually wanted to make a video about this a few years ago, right before unfortunately COVID started, but it's a ridiculous concept that depends entirely on the idea of tunneling. Here we can see atoms individually through the tunneling effect produced by moving a tiny needle right next to each of the atoms. And it's something that's actively used today in a lot of different facilities around the world trying to conduct some of the most complex research involving atoms. Now hopefully one day I'll get to make that video about that particular research, but in a nutshell it's just a mind-blowing concept. Atoms, or really anything, can technically tunnel through walls or even empty space and end up in a different location. Now why exactly does this matter? I mean obviously most of us are probably not going to be using these microscopes anytime soon. Well, it's actually because once again of chemistry. And here's another study you can find in the description that finally proves tunneling does actually cause chemical reactions. In this case this was a reaction between hydrogen and deuterium ions, where a molecule of hydrogen collides with deuterium, producing a very specific ion. But in this case it's the quantum tunneling that causes the formation of the ion. Except that this reaction is once again somewhat slow. It actually took approximately 15 years to finally physically prove it and to accurately measure everything. Here this tunneling only occurs in about 100 billion collisions between hydrogen and deuterium. Once again doesn't happen very often, but does happen enough to cause a change. And here we come to the most important discovery from the last few years. This also affects our bodies. It affects our DNA. There is now proof that quantum tunneling actually causes mutation inside our bodies and there is pretty much nothing we can do about it. And so in this particular study, researchers discovered that sometimes hydrogen atoms inside DNA can actually jump from one side to the other, causing certain DNA molecules to change, literally causing a non-standard form of DNA-based mutation. Now this is once again super rare and the body is usually able to repair DNA molecules that are different, but because of the sheer amount of DNA molecules in our bodies, sometimes this does happen and the molecules spontaneously change through the process of quantum tunneling. With the scientists in this paper even suggesting that this is probably an extremely potent mutation process, very likely affecting a lot of biological organisms, especially the ones that are more complex and that generally live much longer. Kind of like us. And intriguingly, it's really the warmth inside the cells that seems to activate protons to sometimes create this tunneling jump. And so basically just by itself, the mutation seems to occur naturally without anyone doing anything. Which is actually kind of mind-blowing. It means that mutation occurs without anything. Even if you place the organism completely isolated in the middle of nowhere, it will still mutate with time just because of these unusual phenomena. And I really shouldn't be saying organism because it basically affects you and I as well. And all of this is just a natural component of the universe. Strange quantum effects that are all over the place, but that we're mostly discovering because of these new brilliant studies. And so even though we see the classical world around us, underneath this classical world, it's the quantum reality that pretty much controls everything. But at least for now, that's kind of all I wanted to mention. We're actually going to do a few more videos on quantum effects and quantum discoveries in some of the future videos. But until then, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, Support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.